Hey Virgo, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. These messages here are intended for Virgo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching. They are general, please keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here. So let's go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are coming in for you in relation to love and romance. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah. The Hangman, the King of Pentacles, the Devil, the King of Swords, he's upside down, and the Page of Wands here. Yeah. Okay, um... I'm getting that you have to give something a little bit more thought. Some of you, I feel like you may be oppressed to make a decision of some sort, or some of you need to make some sort of um, decision, or you need to make your mind up about something, but don't rush it, because I feel like you have to uh, leap. Notice the rabbit in the corner here? You have to leap before, you have to think before you leap here. You have to think it through before you actually um, decide on what it is that you're going to be doing here. Um, so for some of you, for instance, you may be thinking about cutting ties or removing someone from your life. Um, but I don't know that you've fully exhausted all your options when it comes to this relationship. Or I feel like there may be something still there that you could work with. Um, for some of you, it works in reverse. Some of you, you have a connection that you're involved with or you have a, a romantic energy that is tied to you. Now, I don't know that this person is the best influence in your life and I feel like maybe it's a little toxic or maybe it's a little unhealthy and maybe you need to cut ties yet you don't necessarily know how to do it. So I'm seeing some of you need to really think something through here. Now with the hangman as well, you know, he's someone who, um, he's hung himself purposely upside down for the whole, um, for the sake of, you know, getting a different perspective, for the sake of seeing things in a different way, in a different light. And I feel like for some of you, that's what needs to happen. There is a situation in which you have to look at it differently. If you look at it from a different angle, you will see an entire new situation play out in front of you. Um, and I feel like if you, there is something here about a person that maybe you're a little bit too re reluctant to believe. Um, someone may be trying to tell you something about an individual, but I feel like you're really blinded by them. Um, and I feel like some of you are maybe making excuses. And I feel like you're trying to avoid seeing either reality or trying to avoid seeing something here. Um, maybe you're trying to avoid seeing someone for who they truly are. Or maybe some of you, I just feel like, are not ready to face uh, the truth here. Um, so with the hangman here, there's a need for you to take a step back here and really think about, you know, what's going on here. Take a step back and really think about how this person is making you feel or, you know, what's really going on in, in the relationship or what's really going on with you and the emotions or why this person is treating you the way that they're treating you and why you're letting them get away with it. Um, there could also be, I feel like there may this may also signal a need for you to put a pause um, like to hit the pause button, to put a hold on things, um, and maybe, because I feel like that will give you time to think about things, or that will give you time to sort of process what's really happening um, at play here, okay? Um, with the King of Wands, I'm getting the message that some of you are dealing with a really stubborn energy, so if you're waiting for someone to contact you or call you, I feel like this person is purposely, is playing some sort of mind games, because you do have the devil here, um, and, you know, there's a whole notion of games uh, that comes with this card. So I'm getting that this person is a very stubborn energy. They're not ready to communicate yet because I feel like maybe they want you to talk to them first. They want you to communicate um, first or maybe they want you to apologize, even though I don't feel like it's something that you did wrong. I don't know why. Maybe, but I don't think so. So, yeah, the message I'm getting is that this person is not ready to communicate. But I'm guessing that you already knew this Virgo. I'm guessing that you've seen this stuff inside to him, to him or her, or maybe you're just starting to see it now. Um, so I feel like maybe this silence that exists between you and this connecting energy 
it's their way of trying to play games or it's their way of trying to assert some sort of dominance or some sort of control over you or over the connection it's them trying to um, trying to convince themselves that they have the upper hand um, control is a big thing when it comes uh, down to this individual so look they're not ready to talk yet purely because they feel like they'll do it on their own terms or they'll do it when it's convenient for them um, the devil here yeah i feel like there is something here that is draining you of an energy now i don't know if it's your emotional energy your physical your mental your spiritual or perhaps a combination of all i feel like there is something here that's draining and depleting you of an energy because the de the devil here he's got the the devil the baphomet has the wings of a, a a bat and a bat is someone who sucks the life blood um the life force out of its prey so something here is not good for you Okay, I don't know if it's uh, an actual addiction or if it's um, an actual substance or if it's an actual person or if it's their energy here. Um, or maybe if, it could be your self-destructive way. Something here is um, essentially it's taking away from your happiness and it's taking a lot away from you as well. Uh, it feels like you can't get away from this thing um, or this person or this connection or whatever this is um it feels like it's like a drug it's it's intoxicating it's addictive it's you, you gotta have it it's consuming here um some of you need to free yourselves because essentially it's either this person that's enslaving you or this you're letting this drug enslave you here okay um and the king of swords in reverse okay someone here i feel like there is someone here who either is a not ready to communicate okay this person is i feel like as i've mentioned earlier it could be because they're stubborn but i feel like they're trying to maybe someone he has ghosted you or someone he has disappeared but i also feel like maybe they're trying to use their silence to to um, leverage uh results here i feel like again it could be that they're trying to um, assert some sort of dominance over you or over the connection here um or it could be that you might he communication you might someone he might communicate with you but i feel like this person there's something going on with them i feel like they're not very clear-headed i feel like there's something he there's something here on their mind and to be honest with you they're not either they're not fully they're not clearly expressing it or they're wanting to hold back the communication from you or they're wanting to hold back telling you what what it is that's going on with them um because upright the king of swords is someone you know he's very He's very direct here, he can be very to the point, but in reverse, he's lost that confidence. He's not knowing, you know, what's going on here. Now, the page of wands, I see some sort of message coming in for you guys. Um, it could be, you might find that a romantic interest, he's expressing interest, it could be a secret admirer here. Um, but I feel like there's some sort of message that comes in, either it's from a romantic interest or someone who expresses their interest in you romantically here. Um, it feels like it's from a younger energy here, so it could be from someone who's a little bit younger than yourself. Um, there could be some flirtation going on as well. You could be, you could find yourself flirting with this person. Some of you, I feel like Virgo, you know that like it won't go further, it won't go past this, but nevertheless, I feel like you're enjoying the, you're enjoying the flirt fest, you're enjoying their energy, you know, their charisma, their charm here, um, be careful you don't enjoy it too much, because I feel like this person has a lot of charisma, has a lot of appeal, and they might just sweep you off your feet, and you might just enjoy it a little too much here, is what I'm seeing, so definitely some sort of message that's coming in for you or even like the arrival of a new romantic interest or a secret admirer here this, this person has a lot of energy i don't know where they're coming from could be someone in the workplace environment or someone who i feel like has been around you for quite some time or either this is someone who you might suddenly meet you might like someone who comes it feels like this person comes out of the blue um a lot of energy around them a lot of enthusiasm um a lot of energy actually a lot of attraction as well a very intense um, connection here with this individual especially a very intense physical um, sexual connection here 
Okay, and that is all I have for you guys. I just want to thank you all for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. I, of course, will be sharing more messages with you throughout the week, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.